Raveen? Yes, sir. Yes, shall we start? It's three now. Uh, yes, sir, we can wait uh, a minute or two. And Sasang, are you there? Yes, brother. Sasang, uh, please uh, make, sir, the host of the event, right? Okay. Okay, brother. In order to put the, the PPT on the screen. Is it for that purpose you mean? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, is it for the purpose of putting the PPT on the screen? Sir, if you are the host, then you will be able to control your um, video as well as your slide. So okay. then there will be no confusion. So uh, with this uh, share slide, uh, share screen option, then yes. uh, you will have full control over how things move. Thank you. Thank you, Ankita. So how many participants are here already? It's almost 79 and they are 79 and I think, you know, many of uh, them are joining via YouTube. Yeah, 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 sure. Yes, there are others and also, you know, kindly send a message. I don't know, is there any method? Uh, if anybody is not able to join uh, via Zoom, they can join uh, through YouTube. Uh, that message is already there, but if someone is uh, struggling, uh, they can uh, they can be told. So kindly, the participants, uh, if you come to know anyone like this for joining late, kindly direct them to go to YouTube channel. That's one thing. And also kindly tell them to uh, put their email IDs uh, in the YouTube channel in the comment section so that you know we can put these certificates. Even though I will tell you about the certificates, it is not at all important anyway. Uh, so what, what is the matter that we are going to discuss today is important, you know? Yes. There is no, no only, she has to only click the link. She has to just click the link. I already sent to her. Uh, you can just send the links. I'm sorry, you know, one of the teachers want to join. Good. So, good afternoon. Good afternoon to everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Wonderful. Afternoon, you know, sir. I really uh, feel very happy meeting you all today to discuss about the legal research and writing skills. Uh, I do not know, you know, some of you have given your comments on the uh, registration. I, I had a chance to look at that some of you have really uh, uh, put your point of view that what you really expect from this uh, uh, webinar. Uh, uh, others kept quiet, yeah, I do not know what is the motivation. Uh, I'm sure that, you know, you are all uh, really interested in uh, learning what are the, uh, the tools and methodologies of uh, research and uh, writing. So today I'm going to tell you something about uh, these two aspects. Uh, Praveen, uh, uh, if we are ready, kindly tell me because we don't want to uh, delay much for the, uh, the participants to have joined promptly. So we can go ahead with the program. Yes, sir. I think we should start and house is almost full. Yeah. So yeah we can go sir very good now i'll go to the uh the screen can you see the uh, powerpoint uh, yes sir yes sir yes you can see the powerpoint now So once again, good afternoon to everyone. We are going to discuss good legal afternoon. research and writing skills. What is the need of uh, discussing this? What is the need of discussing the legal research and writing skills? Why we are here today? 
that customer will need to understand. There are many students here. I have requested some of my uh, colleagues to join here to uh, you know uh, venture into this uh, very important task that we have before us: training and exposing the students on legal research and writing. There are many ways you can write. Many there are many you know, articles or the blogs or the books that you may have seen in your life. They are all helping us in different manner, and this really plays a significant role in our education system, in our in shaping our ideas, in shaping our career development, shaping our life itself. There is a difference between unreal and real. What is that? It's knowledge, isn't it? Your ability to think. That think is triggered by uh, you know, writing, speaking, and being. And, and, uh, writing is one medium. And for writing, you need to do some homework. That is the research that is. You do research to do writing. So simple to say that you know these are you know this I'm doing research and I'm writing something. The effort that goes behind it is really huge, and some people are able to do in a very fantastic manner, and some people struggle. Many people struggle. This is our experience. Uh, so There are fortunate uh, people. Yes. Sorry to interrupt, sir. Sir, there uh, is some issue with the audio. Uh, can you fix the mic? Uh, uh, okay. Is it not very clear? Is it not yeah, very clear? It is a little muffled, but it is now now very clear. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Now I think it is uh, clear now. Yeah, 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 sir. We are wrong. Okay. Uh, uh, tell me if it is not uh, audible. Okay, or it is not clear. See, what I was trying to say is that. there are some people who are you know gifted with some talents you know uh, a born writer some may be used to say it's not that you know always people are born with writing talents or they are just with talent but you know we say that you know gift of gab we say that some people are coming with uh, the, the talents some people develop it with their hard work with their experience with their talent. voice is breaking in between voice is breaking in between yes sir Sorry, I don't know how it is. Mm -hmm. So kindly tell me now if it's uh, if it's clear. Otherwise, now I will uh, remove the the headphone. Is it now clear? Yes, sir. It is clear. It is clear. Okay, I I removed my headphone so that uh, you know it is clear now. Um, there are many ways you know the people get trained for lawyers writing is so important for law students it is so important to understand that you know how significant uh, you know the writing is it's called a legal writing legal writing in the sense that you draft petitions you draft writ petitions or you know the other petitions for uh, uh, you know the legal practice starts from legal uh, notice then you go with pleadings you know pleadings written statements up to it's a different kinds of writings you need to make in your profession so lawyers profession is mainly writing and reading writing and speaking first to paul so for that you need to develop your writing skills and in addition to that writing means writing articles writing books writing book reviews different kinds of writings we can have you know what i'm going to say here is that largely i'm going to speak for the writing in the sense the second sense that writing uh, you know uh, articles journal articles blogs writings uh, in the book reviews uh, writing uh, uh, the the books it's, uh, themselves you know we call monographs or uh, treatises uh, different kinds of writings so i i'm trying to tell you about this mainly you know you may call it academic writing or uh, you know hobby writing that is one and definitely this will go into uh, uh, this will go a long way in helping you in developing the, the legal drafting also okay so the, the tools that you are going to learn here 
it will also develop because you know you have separate courses on legal drafting and all you know i think you know i don't want to go into that specifically now i'm going to deal with this subject in a general manner so today's the main aim of this you know uh, webinar is to introduce you to legal writing and research methods okay and there is a, a special task that you know i'm going to announce it a little later at the end of the in the program i'm going to tell you that you know how we are going to move forward in this uh, the, uh, venture okay uh, there are many students uh, in our faculty uh, the um, uh, the law students uh, they approach uh, you know our teachers uh, asking them that you know how how to write uh, an article sometimes you know they come across uh, some call for papers from journals uh, they want to write because obviously they see some other journals i myself i see that you know many students from national law schools other universities they are able to write and publish in uh, uh, law journals so reputed journals uh, you know they are able to publish hmm? but it's very uh, uh, difficult to you know understand that you know our students are not able to uh, uh, write and not only law faculty students you know there are many law you know universities many uh you know universities and the college law colleges you know students they they don't get the the chance to get trained in legal research and writing and when the students approached me particularly i felt that okay this is a big gap that we have that you know uh if is there any possible way to you know help them out uh this has been there for a long time that now you know the covid has uh, given me a chance to rethink about it and uh, okay we can uh, spend some time on this and we can if, if that is of uh, any use to them if it is going to help them in a better manner you know why not we do that so that is the idea first you know that prompted me to come to this and secondly you know when we know many things you know we write as academicians we write we write for different purposes uh, and why don't we share this knowledge to our i have also it's not only me there are so many faculty you know here the young faculty now you know they are also with us uh, you know uh, they they are going to help us in uh, many manner i requested uh, you know uh, our uh, professors uh, uh, ankita uh, you know um, uh, our anumeha mishra uh, sukanya singh uh, shachi so like that you know i have uh, and hina uh, i have invited many uh, you know young colleagues of uh, mine here in the law faculty to join uh, so that you know we can jointly think together uh, to how we can help uh, the law students uh, in writing okay that is the idea and the fortunate i'm i'm really fortunate to you know see the best places uh, i have just uh, mentioned here that you know uh, the the first academic venture of mine was uh, you know it started in uh, the national law school uh, you know raipur this is the uh, hidayatullah national law university So where uh, I uh, first taught, uh, you know, uh, law there uh, as academic. Uh, before that, I was uh, teaching uh, as well. And then, uh, you know, uh, I got a chance to teach in uh, Delhi University Law Faculty. That itself is a great uh, experience I got. It's a diverse experience I got. Then uh, the Nalanda University I used to go. Uh, I went there for three years to teach. Uh, this is a very interdisciplinary experience I got. Okay. So every place where I went. Uh, i understood that the research and training is so important for the students and not every place you know they uh, they bring this element into the, the curriculum uh, for example uh, the the national law schools so they have a, a system of uh, writing assignments research papers and they are somehow you know they are trained in the process good bad or it is, is it effective that's that's a different issue we are not going into that uh there are many scope of improvement uh, but there are bright students so they are able to pick up and they write originally so that is also you know very important you know we need to uh, really appreciate that point nalanda university is an international university uh, that's a research based university particularly and uh, there the thrust is uh, research only and the, the thrust is uh, uh, you learn by research you learn by writing so that, that that gave me a lot of scope to innovate there i introduced uh, two three new papers and uh, i engaged the students uh, you know to write uh, uh, you know different kinds of critical notes on uh, you know law so that is another and comparative notes so for example you know that is nalanda university is a south asian southeast asian countries uh, you know uh, support that venture so 
uh, we are able to get students from different countries. Uh, you know, when I served there uh, in uh, you know, 2015 to 18, uh, I got about 16 country representatives, you know, students. So we got, that's a great experience, I could say. Uh, in the, uh, but in Delhi University, we don't have a specific paper, even though, you know, we have only the examination, uh, you know, system here. So we don't have, you know, that element in the curriculum. I think, you know, that we need to seriously think about and we need to help the students on that manner. Mm -hmm. I also got the opportunity to go to different other universities with the help of a Fulbright scholarship or other, uh, you know, visiting professorships and, uh, you know, visiting fellowships. Uh, you know, I got a chance to go to the Max Planck Institute that is a specialized institution for research incubation. Okay. So where, you know, they bring scholars from all over the world and not, you know, one or two countries you know, all over the world. At one point of time, I could get, you know, interact with 64 country representatives at one, you know, on one table, you know, across the table, one big, uh, you know, uh, room. So that, that's the opportunity that you get in, when you go out to meet such a, you know, in a, you know, people in the, in the institutions. So I got the chance to work there for six months uh, in Heidelberg. Then, uh, you know, I was also fortunate to go to the, the Hague Academy of International Law, uh, the Harvard Law School, Yale Law School, uh, and other places. Okay, so what, why I say is that, you know, I could see the difference. I could see the difference. I could pick the tools. And I could uh, I could understand what uh, you know what needs to be done you know how we need to improve ourselves so that's the the advantage you know that I got that I uh, really it compels me to think that I should share it with you all uh, you know and everything I cannot share today itself you know today you know you, you can uh, you know see that it's a kind of an uh, uh, introduction maybe you know in in due course I can share much uh, about it uh, then uh, you know. <coughs> Uh, this is also to uh, encourage uh, the interested students uh, to, you know, come together because this is the first opportunity you all get to come together to think about writing. Okay. And this will, it is not only just to come and meet the, the uh, you know, attend the webinar and go away and create contacts within yourselves now, you know, within the teachers, within the, the student groups uh, to take it forward so that, you know, you can continue this association uh, more. So that is the, the idea. What I'm going to do in this uh, presentation, I'm going to tell now, okay? So that is the background that I told you. Now, what are you going to do here? Okay, just give me a second. Okay. There are five elements I'm going to tell you in a very simple manner, whatever I could uh, you know, tell you, okay? This is, uh, what is research? Because uh, some of you, are already doing research, you have already written articles, you know what goes into that. And there are many people who have, uh, you know, who are uh, here in the, in the webinar who may not know, who are wanting to write. So I think, you know, they, they need to first understand what is research and how to do the research, okay? And what's writing. Then how and where to write. So I'm going to tell one by one with some kind of you know, examples and the, you know, uh, the, the stuff uh, that how you're going to understand each one of them. Then we can have uh, uh, the question answer session, you know, if the time permits, I'm planning to you know, uh, keep it uh, you know, strictly one hour. Let us see how it goes. I'm not going to make it so theoretical. Okay. So this is the first slide just to, you know, you need to know, I've written, you know, what is research. Otherwise, you know, this is going to be completely in a different manner. I'm going to, you know, explain this to you. So what is research? Simply, if anybody asks, what's the research means, you know, you are trying to identify something. That's what comes to mind, isn't it? You're, you're trying to identify something. You're trying to know something. That's the research that we call but in academic sense, you know, what we mean is that, you know, it's, it's a systematic investigation of something. You want to know something. It is a systematic investigation into the study materials and the sources. You have collected something or you are collecting something to understand in a very systematic manner. That means you are guided by something. A research is an, a guided venture, not an unguided venture that you need to understand. Okay. And why you are guided, what you're doing, this is only for the purpose of establishing certain facts or to reach new conclusions. When you conduct the research, you are not having conclusion. Please note it, 
note this point. Most of the research scholars make this mistake that they already have the conclusion. Now you want to do the research to prove that you know what they have done is uh, what, the, what the conclusion they have is right. No, that is not research. Okay, that is the proof that you are writing. A research is an open minded exercise where you have some probe in mind that you are going to investigate. And now, after research, you want to establish what you believed, believed in the beginning is right or wrong. And you are going to conclude at the end. Okay, so that is what uh, is the research. I think, you know, you all understand. We are on the same page what we understand by research. Okay. Is it audible now after removing the headphone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Completely fine, sir. Okay, very good. So there is no uh, noise or there is no, you know, the, it is so clear. Yes, sir. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you very much. Yes. Then we have given the title legal research and writing skills. Are they two? Not at all. Both go hand in hand. One supplements the other. Research helps writing. Writing needs research. Both are, in fact, but for the purpose of understanding, we are trying to, you know, look at it differently. So when we understand what's research, now you need to know why you need to write. Why, when you need to write and why you need research for that writing. Normally, we understand that research is, you know, why we used to write is, the general purpose, we say that, you know, for my career, I need to write a lot. As a teacher, I need to write. I need to publish. That's what people say normally. Or if I, for my higher studies, if I have to complete my degree, or if I have to complete my PhD, I have to write, sir. <laughs> but that is not the real reason. The real purpose is expressing your message or an idea. You look at any classic writing. We have stalwarts with us in our legal field. You know, there are so many people we have seen, you might have heard or you might have seen, heard them. Professor Upendra Bakshi or Professor Madhuman, and unfortunately he passed away recently, sometime back. Professor M.P. Singh or great scholars, Professor Vedh Kumari in our you know, campus. Uh, Professor Kamala Shankaran. There are so many, I don't want to name, there are so many you know, established writers we have. What they do is that they are they are they are trying to convey an idea or a message through an article. It is not for the sake of writing an article. I need to have ten publications, so I'm writing. Not that. I have a target of writing two articles this year, so I'm writing. Not that. So writing has a purpose that goes with that idea or a message or a key argument that you want to make. You want to create a kind of a ripple in the society. You want to create kind of a dent in the thinking of the people, an impact in their life. That's what's happening. That's why the writing lives. Writing lives always. You know, you have seen so many scholars, why they are still known, still celebrated. It's because of the writing. I can speak so many things, it goes in the thin air. It won't last long. And you need to write if you want to live long. And the writing, if it has to live longer, it should not be a compilation writing. It should not be just a descriptive writing. It should not be a newspaper writing. You know, today's newspaper is a tomorrow's garbage. Okay, so writing has to be also it should have a standard and it should have a, a key message that will live longer. One idea lives for a long time. Why we still think about, you know, some scholars, their contribution, you know, they still guide us. There are several ideologies. Why we still think about them. The concept of justice by John Rawls. You know, it's an idea. Have you got justice? Have you seen justice? Justice is such a concept. It's such an elusive concept. 
we always try to try you know get it but he has expressed it in manner that you can conceive it you can strive for that he is no more here but his idea is there in the help of, in the in the manner of a book that's where you no know, i i would like to inspire you i would like to encourage you all to think writing in this sense how to do research then you know because you know first we are starting with the research and there you know we are trying to understand you know what is research and how to do this okay normally we understand research means downloading right our phd scholars would be knowing or many of our law students will be knowing this that i have collected so many articles i want to write on artificial intelligence and law i have collected 200 articles now the research is done we are lots of misconceptions we have we don't know what is right and wrong that's a major thing that we need to understand when we study because there is no guidance so kindly understand this point that research means downloading of course is a met, you know one first step but that is not research by itself and some people used to collect lots of books they will have lots of books and they will be dreaming that one day they can read it and it will be always there 5 years 2 years 3 years they will never read it's not research this is not this is only the collection research means one step further you collect and go into it the key is reading and analyzing i had a chance to go to professor bakshi's house professor upendra bakshi you all know we all have a house and we have a library at home everybody will have some books isn't it i would like to tell you my friends you know professor bakshi lives in a library he is not living in a home and having a library his house is a library where he lives that many number of books but he is not in the first category that i said that you know people used to collect books and keep it and they will not read every book he knows where it is what, what is there in the book and which page it is when we had a discussion he simply went into the sixth row or fifth row of the, the racks he had just picked up a book and looked at the page that this is what i was saying i was amazed to see such people reading reading analyzing then it automatically oozes out it comes out of you to explain then expression comes naturally so what is very important in research is careful collection of the materials not everything each and everything careful collection of the materials and start reading and analyzing that that's the research part you are researching in the material identifying the the arguments and the, the ideas in the material you train yourself into the critical thinking process okay collecting the material reading what this author has to say is he saying rightly you have to travel with him when you read and you have to question when you read and you have to take notes and give counter arguments when you read so that is the analytical and uh, you know the objective part sometimes you know i used to see the, the some scholars even not only the students the scholars even mistaking the critical thinking means questioning always anything you say they will come out with a counter no it is not very sorry to see this they are always pessimistic and anything you say they will come out with a, a counter argument no a critical thinking is an analytical thinking you think you see a point in multiple dimensions multiple perspectives analyze can it be true can it be this way what could be the alternative and in an objective manner 
objective manner in the sense you are not there with your bias you are not there with your vested interest you are not not there to prove a point of view that you like a subject is already there a fact is a fact you can't change it you are going to observe it that is objective point of view if you want to change that objective point of view in a different manner you give your argument and make it that's that is the 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 contribution that you can make so when you research you research it in a such an objective manner without taking steps but only probing it in a, with a curiosity and that incubates your ideas gives exposure to it's not only just getting the ideas and arguments in the material you get a lot of you know different approaches to writing when you read 10 articles these are written by 10 people in 10 different points of time different cultural background and different understanding in their minds and they will express in different manner then the approach is completely different so what is reservation for india is different in what is reservation in us what is secularism for you in india is different what is secularism in some other country in a religious country or other country gulf countries how do they understand is completely different okay so we need to be very you know uh, you know uh, we need to be very cautious about what we are understanding and what you know we are getting points from them i just you know uh, put the uh, gave the clue of the oxford union debates if you want to have multiple ideas go to the the oxford union debates and they they take the the different topics and they analyze and the debates happen in such a manner that the fight is so decent but at the same time they they give the points in such a manner that you know it's the bull's eye that you have to you know that kind of a thing it's not only in the books you get ideas See, research goes into several the, you know uh, um, things sometimes uh, research when i am writing a book when i am writing an article a movie inspires me a movie gives an idea a youtube uh, you know uh, art, uh, you know uh, uh, video gives an idea a newspaper article gives an idea a debate gives an idea an advertisement gives an idea so you have to be very you know curious and you wide open you know you have your uh, you know eyes have to be wide open to identify wherever i can get the knowledge i should receive it that is the the purpose of doing the research here you know then sharpening your ideas and arguments while reading while you know picking up the points okay and while doing that consciously you have some theme in your mind and you are you know getting a shape you are giving shape to your message and for that purpose you know i would request you know the the students to look at uh, uh, some good journals there are many journals available ila journal indian law institute you know publishes uh, you know flagship journal and uh, our faculty publishes two journals you know uh, not not two journals many journals the the delhi law review uh, the student uh, you know law review uh, delhi law uh, students delhi law review uh, we have campus law center uh, journal uh, law center two we have a national capital law journal journal of you know law teachers of india different journals are there right, where teachers write students write different you know perspectives emerges and also the national law schools come out with different journals kindly look at them our libraries have some copies otherwise you know online they are many available and the international journals now they have come out with blogs they have come out with websites you know all the articles are you know there are open you know journals open access journals i request all of you to look at that you know you will understand the method of uh, you know and writing the approaches of writing and also you will get lots of points ideas and messages this is how and and just by reading you won't get anything so you need to match those ideas with the theme that you have and always check whether what you think is right and how the other point of view can be made use of to strengthen your idea or to counter your idea so that is how you know we take you know normally you know we take notes or we take uh, different uh, Uh, methods i will come to that later okay so how you you know you will make use of the readings and all uh, you know for the purpose of writing okay 
for the purpose of research very important thing is having a theme for a research sometimes you know you have a very broad area of inquiry and you start looking at you know all and sundry anything that comes across that you come across in the uh, in the library or in the uh, in the google something like that no a research should be as i have stated stated already it should be guided it should have a very you know a chosen aim a theme has to be identified first okay and how the theme comes is an urge an urge you know prompts the theme you know you want to say something you want to identify something there should be an urge within you then in order to satisfy that urge you start inquiring that's how it goes that's why you know some people are so passionate in writing passionate in researching that's why they end up very successfully okay so this is what you know is very important you need to always be guided by the theme or the title that bothers you to write then the research will be really guided otherwise you know it will be random normally people also think that uh, you know the google is the best uh, source there are many sources google is only the starting point so if you think that you know you get everything in the google and that is sufficient so in the just before the desk, desktop you sit for several years uh, several hours and you are able to complete the research no you are mistaken it might help you to give some very good articles because you know most of the the good books or good articles or uh, you know reports are open uh, access now you can get but that will also tell you that what are the very good other materials that you need to look at that are not available in book it will only give you where the sources are what are the sources that you do not know so for that purpose you may make use of it but you need to be very cautious when you are looking at the online sources not only google there are many other you know search engines i'm just giving an example so when you rely on online journals there are many you know unauthentic unreliable materials available they are factually incorrect they are completely biased they have some agenda in them they will write something so all the matter you know all the materials will be available don't be you know affected by such materials and in the book libraries the the conventional method is that you go to the books you know libraries to get the books or journals or the reports or thesis and that's another method that's a fantastic method but you need to go beyond that in the modern context you need to make use of the databases like westlaw lexis nexis manupatra supreme court online ai or there are subject specific also you know we have uh, databases so you need to find online so you need to uh, you know get the subscriptions or you need to join the institutions where they have such databases many of our students may not know that delhi university has a subscription for westlaw okay earlier we used to have lexis nexis also right now you know i could not access i think you know they it has expired so we don't have that but the best law we have and i'm very sorry to say that you know people do not know this they are not using it such a wonderful resource manupatra we have supreme court cases online and so such a, we need to you know download you know access the materials that we need for research and also you need to understand while the, you know conducting research what are the primary materials what are the secondary materials the primary sources are the the authentic government sources like the acts the reports the judgments coming from the the government and they are the the first line sources they are not secondary they are not developed based on something you may write a commentary based on an act the commentary is a secondary source but the act is the primary source so the all the books all the commentaries all the journals all fall in the secondary sources i would always uh, you know uh, uh, you know suggest the students to first look at the primary sources when you want to study anything about any law 
first you take the parent you first understand what is there in the section don't go by any commentary but any author will say anything according to his own or her own understanding they may simplify it for you that's a different issue but you can see that later what you could understand directly from the the act you know that you need to understand that is the primary source any report directly you go don't go by the quoted uh, you know materials then after looking at the primary sources you have to come to the secondary sources secondary sources gives you you know they give you lot of uh, you know uh, perspectives the primary source is only one for example article 21 is just one article two lines there are, there are millions of articles written on that research articles there are thousands of judgments and giving different perspectives on the, the article 21 how it is it can be used okay so this is how you know you need to understand you know how the primary source is so important then you should go to the secondary sources now we come to writing i like to tell you all we always say that you know everybody aspires to write aspiration doesn't make anything everybody wants to be a millionaire can any everybody make it everybody wants but only those who strive for that can get it the same thing applies here what is writing it simply means writing <laughs> there is nothing more you need to write sit and write some people say that i have been planning to write how long <laughs> they do not know that brooding to write is not writing writing is writing and also i would like to say sometimes when we write we say we write we want to write a good article we have collected the materials we have written one first draft we have written that you know that you are tired by the time and you don't want to even read that once again whatever i have written is fine i don't want to go into that that cannot be a masterpiece because you need to fine tune it fine tune it fine tune it when i was in harvard i happened to meet a professor engen he used to say writing means rewriting here very simple it just struck me like anything hit me on my head writing means rewriting writing means not just writing and throwing it out he said that i am sharing you know very valuable materials whatever i you know the experience i got here with you i kindly note down all this we have to write and we have to modify we have to rewrite we have to again change we have to polish it it's like making a gold ornament by hitting hitting bending you know cutting you need to make that you know ornament and there is no shortcut in this one okay write and improve only so writing rewriting writing rewriting that improves our writing how do you do it okay there is no single answer to this sir you say that you write and rewrite how do you write there is no one single method i can tell you everybody writes in a different manner people who write re, you know read novels people who write, read the academic articles will know that how many methods how many systems how many styles people write and if you one goes into one goes into the, the you know looking into the styles uh, will be really mesmerized that's how it is right that's why it is still interesting to everybody there is no single standard you can have a standard you can be amused by a standard you can have a role model and follow that the certain methods that you know you follow certain you know uh, steps first you tell the problem then you go into the the analysis then come to the conclusion or straight away you give the conclusion challenge it 
then prove with the help of a facts and come and say that again that you know this conclusion is wrong there are methods that comes uh, you know in you know by writing by practice it comes no need to worry about that now whatever comes in your natural way kindly go into that just follow that then by doing you will you will innovate yourself i'll tell you certain steps that can help you only you need not follow everything you may add many things to this okay first of all identify what you want to say in an article or in a writing it can be any writing it may be a blog writing it may be a journal writing what do you want to say there what's your message don't write something that you know this is what is stated there this is what is stated there you know this is you know i am presenting to you you're not a reporter there reporters are already there we don't want more so we are going to give a message and once you have that you conceive that idea in your mind it's always advisable to put it into writing in one paragraph what is that compelling idea in your mind just write one paragraph that may serve as a abstract or you know executive summary some people may call if it is a report it is a executive summary if it is an article it is abstract that is the essence of your whole writing going to be and after writing while writing this one paragraph you will know the pain of it because you have a vague idea always in mind that's very interesting but if you want to write that really gives you that difficulty because our ideas our thoughts are not concrete only when you make it in writing it becomes concrete so make such a one paragraph if i were to write what i will do i'll tell you i'll develop it an argument i'll develop it an argument in the sense that you know if i say this somebody counters how i will counter that also i'll come out with that kind of a dialogue and i will have points for that there are five points that are going to be in my article there are only five points the five points i will develop into outlines first point what are the things i am going to write i'll give an outline and i will develop that first point outline into one paragraph or three paragraphs so i have five points in mind i will develop all these five points into five outlines then the five outlines into five paragraphs then that one paragraph will be split into three paragraphs and five paragraphs it will become sections so the five points will become five sections now and in each points each sections i will have five findings i mean you know each section will have a finding at the end i will have five findings i get a nod so it's a elementary way of telling this there is no straight jacket formula i told you already it may vary but this is a, a method that you can follow a simple method you can follow you can reject simple use new things into this but for people i just want to say for the beginners i used to tell professor ved kumari in our faculty he used to tell me how she used to arrange they used to have the, the research cards nowadays we don't have the research cards we everything you know we are uh, you know uh, you know uh, depending on the mobile phone and the computer we are having folders and the word files for that they used to have the the phd uh, you know research cards still it is available in the in the bookshops they used to write that and they used to write and uh, the points they will write and they will have the the book references the counter book reference will also be there in one card so if they are going to have five points they will have five cards the five cards will have each card will have the references there so for each point they will have you know 10 books or five books or five articles so whatever they have collected will be there so for the whole of the articles you know already you know if there are 10 uh, uh, references for one point you have already you know for five you know you have 50 references this is how it goes 
all of a sudden when you see an article you feel that you know how this person has written this how many references how is it possible this is organized i used to tell one example you know i met a you know a nice friend michael in max planck institute in germany he used to you know arrange the cards on the table on his table you go to his you know meet him he he used to work on international law he his table will have several cards okay so he will have about 20 30 cards so he will arrange it and he will have a gap for you know five cards then there is a gap then three cards then there is a gap then there are you know seven cards there is a gap i asked him that what is this say that you know this is one argument this is the counter argument and this is another section this is another argument so he will say that and he will be thinking he will just sit on that because he has already written on those cards he will just think you know look at it and think about it immediately in my friend you know in front of me you know he will change the cards two cards from here will go that side and one card from there will come here you know he will say that you know i am modifying this argument here and this author makes sense that he has to come here this is another method okay there are many you know innovative things i used to meet another person you know, tim davies he was uh, you know a uh, uh, visiting fellow in uh, harvard uh, he came from oxford a fantastic person he works on open data and he used to have his world is uh, his uh, macbook he will not go anywhere all databases are there in that and he used to create such a, you know the shared platforms on google google documents and he will interact at any point of time he will be interacting with four to five people he he is a, the master of the team writing the collaborative writing he will have different people to work on different projects such an amazing person with the deadlines he will write so i i'm just explaining you know you how different people approach writing and how they do it collaborative writing is so important tim davies really reminds me of that and he used to tell me pushpa writing is you know single person writing is really boring you are only going to say that what you know and if you bring two three other people they will challenge your idea that only strengthens this org you know this uh, article so he teams with uh, his professor he teams with experts he teams with his own students and it's a collaborative writing and the way you know it comes out the article comes out is fantastic okay so that is another method so you need to do that you know how you can you know improve your writing process sometimes people ask that you know where to write there are many places you can write there are different tiers of writing my good friend ribo used to tell me that you know this is very important for many people right now you know nowadays you know we, we are living in a digital age that lots of blogs have emerged okay lots of you know blogs you do not know you know where to write maybe as a beginner maybe for updating you can write in the blogs blog is not the end there are many blogs there are subject specific blogs there are news blogs okay so they function as a periodical and there are intellectual you know blogs for example they generate new ideas philosophy you know they they generate critical thinking
guys actually uh, there is some technical glitch uh, we are just trying to fix it just wait for 2 minutes Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. yes, sir. Yes. Oh, that's great. I'm very sorry. You know what happened in the meantime? I don't know. It was going on very well. All of a sudden it stopped. Can you hear me now clearly? Yes, sir. Yes, you are, you are clear. Uh, you are uh, and uh, uh, please also unmute the participants. I will uh, just talk to them. Then I will go ahead. Hello.
can you all uh, hear me can anyone uh, reply or uh, raise your hand yes sir 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 actually uh, everyone will uh, here text you in the chat otherwise that will be uh, chaotic for us to manage okay everything. okay no problem but uh, they are hearing isn't it yes sir yes they are okay i will go ahead i'm very sorry uh, you know but it was going everything was going well and all of a sudden you know the audio uh, stopped i'm not very oh, sure why sir. it happened uh, we are almost through with the presentation by this time we would have finished you know if it was uh, smooth uh i was uh, you know talking about the the places where you can uh, uh, uh you can publish okay this is a point we were discussing uh the blog writing uh the open page editorials i know you can write oped these are the areas okay and you can also write the journal articles research articles journal articles and there are many edited books where you know you can write the book chapters where different uh, legal minds come together to write on a particular theme so the, the edited books are really important for uh, you know new subjects uh, not one person can be master master of uh, you know all uh, nuances of a subject so you you bring 10 20 experts to write different topics on a particular uh, you know theme so that's a book chapter you write in a edited book you can write a case comments you can write book reviews uh, different uh, methods are uh, you know different uh, types of writings are there in the in the articles in the journals okay then uh, the the book writing book writing is a uh, long last there is a grade of doing all these things for example when you want to write something you know that is really bothering you that's as more relevant today and it's contemporary that you want to just communicate to the people you write blog right but the life of the such you know writings are too small so the the website will be pulled off uh, or you know uh, you know uh, it will be uh, it may not be updated or the domain may, domain may you know get cancelled you know so th these issues you are writing will not have you know long shelf life okay so blogs are good for some time blogs are good for temporary purposes or the the uh, kind of reporting uh, you know uh, uh, reasons or for raising the contemporary issues immediately this is a quite updated you know medium blog is a, a very very updated medium so that has a special purpose there is no doubt about it but it has a less life okay but if it goes into the article it is always there journal articles are printed they are published or even if it is online soft copies they are get you know there, there is a catalog they are you know uh, uh, protected for long time and books even more they are you know they have long lasting life okay the long shelf life and uh, it is the books and articles for generations after generations uh, they will guide the people okay so in that context uh, you may choose where you can write right so that's how you know i would like to uh, say here and these are the things i just wanted to tell you about uh, you know where to write so so far what we have done is the basics of uh, what is writing and what is really you know the uh, the uh, what are the the efforts that goes into writing the methods some methods i told you with my experience and uh, the the writing the purpose and the methods the stages and the place where you can publish all these things we have done and also i have told you something about the individual writing collaborative writing you know, how it can be possible that you do normally you know in the uh, you know the well established universities uh, they go for the the collaborative writing and they give more value to that uh, so we have come to the the end of the the presentation now i'm going to tell you one very important point uh, you know in uh, you know uh, in the context that we have discussed today it is not that just you know we are discussing the importance of writing and research we are going away we are going to take it forward to another step, you know level we are going to have a, a group a loose group called a research and writing group where anybody who is really seriously interested to write anybody wants to know what is writing that's fine anybody who wants to write seriously please come forward and that it's not possible that you know anybody everybody can be 
trained, brought, trained, because you know it's a huge number of students. So we would like to select some students in the in the phased manner. So first, you know, we'll select some students. Then after some students, like that, you know, we'll go. We'll cater to many students. Not that you know everybody. You know, don't think that you know we are going to select very few and others are left out. Even if you are not able to be in the the group, still don't shy away. Be in touch with me, touch with our colleagues, and we will still help you how to do that. Okay. So I'm going to do uh, you know give you one idea here. It is not that you know some people said that whether we will get uh, you know we need to give certificates, whether we will get certificates. It's not that purpose that we are conducting this. By this time, you may be knowing about it, the seriousness of this exercise. And the certificate is, in fact, nothing. What we are, uh, you know, trying to achieve here is really developing our writing, thinking skills. That will change your life. It's a life-changing moment if you are able to catch the skills. So for that, what we are going to do is that we are going to have a, a rigorous exercise. The rigorous exercise is we'll give one reading. That reading will, you know, you will get a time to read, and you have to critically understand, you know, analyze it. I told you what is critical understanding, critical analysis. I need not repeat it here. Please analyze the article. and write one page of what you understand critically you know what you understand from the article and write and send it to us okay send it to my email id that is there in the first page i will come back to it later wow have to write that please 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 yes sir i am doing sorry sir sorry sir and you have to come out with this one page write up of what you understand from the article this is an exercise this is the first stage of research then you are writing you read the article you call out the points you understand you challenge the arguments then come out with your writing one page not more you have a time frame today is third by 20th you have to complete this first year and second year only i'm telling because i know the difficulties of the third year they are still in the difficulty whether the exam is going to happen how it is going to happen i'm really sorry to you know uh, you know uh, uh, see the situation because of the the lockdown and corona you know they are all suffering so we have to give a special treatment to them for the first year and second year your deadline is 20th july by 11:59 pm don't send me a message that you know kindly you know give me one hour later or can i send it tomorrow on 21st no let us respect the deadline then for the third year students let them first complete the exam i hope it will be completed by 20 uh, 20th july or 25th july or whatever or before august you know they will be completing it and after your last examination you take 10 days time and submit that and uh, after that i will fix a date for a webinar again we are going to have a discussion on that article you have already sent the you will be sending the the um, the write up and you are going to present what you have understand in 2 minutes or 3 minutes very selected people will be invited there based on your writing your sincerity that you have shown in your writing we will be selecting very few and calling for a webinar others should not i will tell you that you should please understand should not feel that you are all not you know selected no it is only for the purpose of focusing with some people i am doing this you know that you know we cannot train 50 people or 100 people or you know more than that in such exercise so don't lose heart please be in touch with me even if you are not invited touch with our colleagues other colleagues if you need any help in writing we are, we are here to help definitely we will do one on one and for the selected people we will have a discussion and after that we will hand hold with you we will train how to write 
a topic will be chosen based on your interest or collective interest and we will try to develop a journal article and that will be time frame you know a time frame will be given based on the time bound manner a first draft a second draft a third draft will be developed and that will be critically you know commented by us and we will help you in modifying the language modifying the argument modifying your understanding and what are the the materials if there is anything lacking we will say that you you should look at this material that will help you to improve your writing and in this manner you will emerge as a, a leader in the legal field because uh, it is not just completing the course creating leadership in your uh, you know legal scholarship legal knowledge is very important that's what is the aim of this program so if you have any doubts kindly ask me so i stop here so how we can go about now because uh, you need to unmute and also one by one kindly tell your name and your affiliation and ask if you have any specific questions i can take five questions now because time is already up i can take five questions maximum okay right sir i am unmuting the others right sir yes Then Pravin, can you moderate? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Definitely, sir. Let me yeah, see. Yeah. So, can you can you choose the people and tell or uh, how? I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm not able to see them. <clears throat> okay, sir. Uh, I'm asking the participant. Can they make or put their questions in the into the chat box? No, that will take time. I think they can okay, directly. Okay, right, sir. They I'm can directly. They can unmute and speak. Okay, okay, right, sir. Or they can directly talk to me also. they can you know because you know uh, uh, for the want of time we can take only the first uh, you know first come first serve basis five questions all right sir all right sir all right rebo do you have any questions rebo is here yes yes rebo can you hear me sir yes i i, I can hear you Okay, so Harsh is having a question. Hello, hello, good yes, afternoon. Yes, sir. Rebab, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Please go ahead, Rebab. or in the meantime anyone wants to speak kindly uh, you know you can uh, tell your name so uh, hello good afternoon sir vidit this side vidit very good vidit yes uh, good afternoon sir so i have a question on what criteria what objective criteria will this uh, critical analysis be judged upon and uh, that is it <laughs> no the 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 criteria is the you know the criterion you no know, uh, is that you know you are uh, your real understanding of the article and uh, how you are able to you know put it forward in the critical you know writing part there are not you know it's not that based on many parameters i'm going to judge you based on your sincerity and interest okay sir thank you sir yeah. Yeah. Who else? Ankita. Uh, oh. Thank you. Sir. Sir, I... Hi. Bolle aati. 
sir i think there is some uh, uh, problem with the who server is trying to ask the question so okay can we some of the after your concluding remark tell me again so, uh, can can we sum up the session uh, after your concluding remark okay very good very good so i think that uh, now you know the the question answer session is not working well so we'll wind up this program right now uh, i th i would like to thank um, uh, the psn group uh, the it is only the the interested students they started there so guys started there so the group of students we have um, uh, you know this is uh, uh, huh? with the help of uh, mr praveen uh and the team we have you know come together to you know organize this webinar i'd like to thank all of them uh, and all the participants and the and the, the teachers who have joined here uh, today to make the program uh, successful i hope you know the the program would have given some uh, good pointers and takeaways for you uh, you know um, uh, you know for uh, further uh, you know contemplation uh, i would like to tell you that this is only a starting point so anybody who wants to write can you know go ahead straight away you can start working on any issue and you can uh, you know uh, start writing and if you have any difficulties please come back to uh, me or any other teachers we are here to help you uh, and in this exercise you have already given the email ids we will send the the article to all of you so kindly start reading them and uh, understanding and uh, we will uh, you know it's uh, you know i told in a lighter manner uh, to vidit that you know it is mainly you know we are going to look at your understanding and uh, your sincerity but definitely you know, we will have uh, some more uh, criteria uh, for uh, you know selection for example your uh, identification of the proper uh, arguments in the article your identification of the proper uh, the, the right points that you have identified you know the, the key points that uh, you know we used to call Uh, in the article whether the author says whatever he says whether you are able to understand it in a right perspective or not okay so uh, whether you are differing with them or you are uh, you know agreeing with the, those points and how you are writing in your own manner uh, uh, all those things we will be looking at then you know we will uh, uh, call you so i hope you know uh, with this you know i would like to thank uh, the organizers as well as uh, all the participants and the colleagues uh, for uh, you know joining okay Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Pravin. It was very enlightening and very very touch bearer session for us. Great. The, thanks a lot. The hard and time. Thanks yes, very sir. much for all the teachers and students. Thank you, sir. Wonderful. Bye bye. Can I leave now? Yeah. Yes. 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 Sir. Yes. Thank you.